So if you're a seasoned cruiser, chances are you've seen or at least heard of pier runners. In fact, some of the cruisers book their cabins based on the side of the ship they're most likely to witness this phenomenon. For all of those who are unaware, let me explain what pier runners are. So when you disembark your cruise ship to visit a port, you have to be back by a designated time so that your vessel and the thousands of people on board can sail to the next stop. In general, everyone on the ocean at seas, you know, over there, they take the time very, very seriously. It's extremely important that you're back on time because not only are you holding up thousands of people but you're also actually risking being left behind because at a certain time they may wait for you for a little bit but after a certain time they will leave you and you will have to find your own way back to the next cruise port or even home and of course this is where the whole pure runner phenomenon gets born and created because some people as they stroll back to the ship they realize this and start running also if you are that person holding up thousands of other people who are going to be on their balconies waiting for you you're going to get well you're not going to get a lot of slack from them let me just put it that way we're going to watch some of those folks as well as maybe some of the folks that are gonna miss their, their ship because like I said, they will leave you. This is a compilation of a bunch of different videos that I think are actually worth your time. I scoured the internet and put together the best of the best. Now let's watch some peer runners. Of course, hopefully we can learn something from this because unfortunately this is a hard lesson that you do not wanna have to face yourself. Now let's start with a serious one. This is not funny at all. This is a mother who basically is having, as you can see, a breakdown over here. She's on her knees. She's crying because she's late to the ship. Her husband is right behind her. And unfortunately, they're somehow, some way, their kids are on the ship. So they're off the ship. They missed it and the kids are on. And like I was telling you before, once the cruise ship starts moving, there's nothing that they're going to do. It's just the way it works. Once It's like a plane, you know, once it starts moving, there's no way that they're going to turn around. There's no way that they're going to stop. And unfortunately, she and her husband are going to have to find their way to the next cruise port or maybe even to the final destination to catch up, not with just the cruise ship, but unfortunately with their kids as well. Now on the positive here, the kids are at least on the ship versus being on the island and the adults are the ones that are stuck out there. They're gonna have to find their way home. They're gonna have to pay for it, but I mean, at least the kids are on the ship and they'll be fed and they'll, you know, they'll be looked after. So that's good news for them. Okay, now I need you to place your bet. Make sure to pause the video, go down in the comment, and let me know, do you think that this guy is going to get that cell phone onto the cruise ship? What are the chances of that? <laughs> Let's find out. Hey, right there. No, don't throw it. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Oh, 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 they're too late. 
Oh. So you hate to see it, but unfortunately, that cruise couple is gonna have to learn that hard lesson. They're gonna have to do the walk of shame back up the pier, and they're gonna have to take their yellow envelope, which contains all of the documents, hopefully, that they need to make sure that they catch this cruise ship on either the next port or back at home at the final destination. Now remember, every cruise line has a representative. That's couple right here, and whoever else, if they're left behind, they're not alone. The cruise line will have a person that will kind of look out for them and get them back to wherever they need to go. Now, of course, you're gonna be responsible when it comes to paying for any kind of plane tickets, for all of the rest of the stuff that you need, but there is someone there from the cruise line to help you. And what ends up happening is after they realize that you're gonna be left behind, they do try to enter your room and get any of the documentation, any of the travel documents, the passports, the IDs, maybe money, all of that stuff into a yellow envelope which is handed to that cruise port representative. And that's what you're seeing right here, that lady received, she got her travel documents so she can get uh, on a flight and hopefully catch this uh, cruise at the next port. Unfortunately, these folks are gonna to have to learn that lesson as well. It's extremely important. Tip number one, to make sure that you find out what time you have to be back and maybe even plan to be back a little bit earlier. Tip number two is to make sure that you set your time, whether it's your watch or your phone, to ship time because a lot of times ship time is different than local time and you're gonna get confused. So it's always important to keep your ship time on you so you know when you have to be back. And lastly, if you're gonna be missing the ship, it's really important to make sure that you call them and let them know. If you're stuck somewhere, if you're in traffic, if you know that you're gonna be late and you're not making it back on time, really important to give them a call and let them know they might wait for you. One way or another, it's gonna be better than you showing up at the pier and trying to catch the ship as it's sailing away. As you can see, that's never gonna work because remember, once the ship starts sailing, it's not gonna stop. Like we said, it's like a plane, you know? Once they go, they go. What happens when this happens? Get on that, girl. They asked out. <laughs> not, not to laugh at them, but you know. I'm sorry. It's 2.30. You're supposed to be back at 1.30. Oh, wow. 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 I hope it was worth it. Oh, wow. That's got to hurt. She could have got on this thing here. They can catch them boats right there. <laughs> You're saying they could catch a water taxi. <laughs> oh, wow. No. No, once we move in, they're done. They're 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 done. Oh well. And like what we were saying before, some people just don't realize this and start running towards the cruise ship and maybe don't even realize why they won't stop or pick them up, right? Like this guy over here, he's like, what's going on? Don't you see me? I'm right here, stop, turn around, come get me. Unfortunately, they won't. That's just how it works. <laughs> And
And last and final tip for you, if you do find yourself in that pier runner situation, if you're late, you're on the pier, you see the ship, they're waiting for you, and you have to get there, make sure that you give it a good run. Because you know there are going to be a whole bunch of people on their balconies ready to not give you any slack whatsoever, right? They're waiting for you, you're late, so you got to make sure that you give it a nice good run. <laughs> if you're going to be that person, run Forrest, run. And maybe, just maybe, if you give it a good run and give it a good performance, you may win back some fans because there are going to be a lot of people who are not going to be happy with you if you're going to make them late. So what do we learn today? Make sure that you set your watch or phone to ship time. Make sure that you try to plan to be back a little bit early. And if you do find yourself in that peer on a situation, make sure that you give it the best run of your life. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.